Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben from SwitchRPG.com and uh, where am I going? We need to go to bed. Then evening comes. The sound coming from the other bed. Dude, you cannot like seriously not getting like any sleep over here. That girl went outside. I could just be going this time. Should go and check on her. Yeah, because apparently we're the sole uh, caretaker of an uh, alien life form or whatever the omens are. Or what they normally are, I should say. They got glow-in-the-dark trees here. It's already been three days, and I haven't found a single thing. What clues do I have besides that Red Queen over there? What will I do if everyone's already dead? I hope everyone on the research team is doing okay. How could this happen? We still had so much left to learn about the Red Queen. Mom, Dad, will I ever see home again? If I stay here... Get it together, area. You can't let this place break you. Managed this far, haven't you? You're only one who can do what needs to be done. There's still so much left to do. <laughs> Who's there? You, were you listening just now? Ah, we got caught. I see. Well, I don't mind. Would you talk with me a while? Well, you did wake us up the past two nights. So, sure, why not? So you haven't had it easy either, being all alone like this. Or maybe you just don't care. It's area, by the way. It's my name. You guys have those, right? Figured I couldn't hurt... Figured I couldn't... I figured it couldn't hurt to let you know that much about me, at least. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Oh, yeah, don't mind, uh, don't mind me now that you've woke me up. Some people... Every sweet fish, uh, 50 gorilla, that's not bad. Could be worse. What does it look like? I'm packing. Maybe the last time you and I ever see each other been brief, but thank you. Where are you going to go? You know that crystal you all call the Sea's Light? Secret behind what dragged me to this time has to be hiding there. So that's where I'm going. Because I need to find a way home. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, they have a Triforce on their... Uh in their bed there. I don't think that's a Triforce, but whatever. Kind of looked like it. I I'm I don't I don't know all the Zelda lingo. I'm an RPG fan, and as you as everybody knows, Zelda is not an RPG. Depending on who you ask. Except Zelda too, of course. Oh, 
So I will be curious, you know, Breath of the Wild did have some, um, was kind of, felt like it started leaning more towards, you know, RPG elements. I'm really curious what they're going to do with uh, Tears of the Kingdom or whatever the new ones. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, we have old, old mail. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm curious to see how the new Zelda game is, if they lean even more heavily into that. Um, who knows? I mean, almost every game has RPG elements nowadays, so who knows? So, Mayor, look, I took the liberty of updating everyone in the village. Consider this a gift from all of us here, and if you ever find yourself in a bind, don't hesitate to confide in any of us. We're happy to help. Look after yourself. Well, that was awfully nice, and we got some seeds to boot. Now, eating properly makes it easier for your body to break down, so I'm sending this... Oh, not eating properly. So I'm sending this just in case. Remember, your health comes first, and definitely don't push yourself to stay up late. You'll collapse if you're not careful, and somebody will have to carry you home. Just take care. Well, that was, that was kind, too. We're gonna. Uh, go ahead and plant these seeds. Oop. Uh, there we go. And we'll plant the wheat seeds. And. We'll say they do make it easy to uh, to water stuff in this game. Let's see here. Oh, we got all all of our chores out of the way. Let's eat a sandwich. Maybe go see where Aria went. Got a little quest marker here, so might as well go in here. Whoa, hold on a second. It's our livelihood. Even if it's as dangerous as you say it, it is, we'll be lost without it. it. May seem extreme, but it's for your own safety. Your mayor has already agreed it to be prudent. Mayor, you can't be serious. Order is currently handling abnormalities occurring in the areas surrounding the sea slide. We cannot promise Leith won't be affected by the autumn sea slide all the same. That is why we are stopping us from using the monolite completely. What will we do in the meantime? Ah, oh, come to see what all the noise is about? Something happened? More tyranny from the Seas Light Order. Just who do they think they are? Oh, of course, you must have no idea who the Order is. The name wasn't already a dead giveaway. They're a religion that worships the Seas Light. Excuse me, Father. What is it? They say that the area surrounding the Seas Light is changing, but how is it changing? The information is confidential to the Order. That being said, we have already witnessed casualties near the Winter Seas Light at the Order's stronghold. You say casualties? Yes, the situation is that severe. As you're already aware, a Lux vein connects the monolite to the Seas Light directly. To that end, we will be taking control of the monolite until the cause of these changes can be ascertained. How long could that take? Guess if it's a threat. I like to think things will go back to normal if we leave it alone for a little while. Then again, it's no laughing matter if the priests of the Order are getting injured. What with all the armor they wear. You should stay away from the Sea's Light in the meantime. Who's Aria? She what? That girl went to the Sea's Light alone? It's all the commotion over there. Nothing. Can't talk here. Come on, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go away from prying eyes and ears.
So the girl went to the sea's light looking for something that'll explain why she's stuck in our time? Must be some connection. Didn't it start glowing the moment she landed in that crystal of her own? I think so, especially if the sea's light order are telling everyone to keep their distance. Or they're just hoarding it for themselves. My understanding is that the sea's light are crystals of light found across the world in one of four colors, but I've never really put much thought into what, what, why they're here or what they do. I can say that they're essential to our way of life. Without the monolite, our lives here wouldn't be possible. Think about it now, it also brings in the question why we live the way we do. A lot of questions I don't have answers to. But that priest was wound pretty tight. Something bad must really be going down for the order to be up in arms. That girl, Aria, was it? She's not fully recovered. I don't know why, but her body is extremely fragile. A strong wind could knock her over. Can't believe she would run off like that, even after I told her she needed to take it easy. But I'm only a doctor. Nothing I can do. If the order can't keep things under control, then what chance do I stand? Don't you go doing anything reckless, understand? You're still recovering, too. Gotta go. I'll see you later. So that clearly means uh, we got to go to the sea's light, right? Uh, we're snooping in the journal. All you need to know is that this diary is something like a compass that'll help me get back to my own time. Why would she leave this behind? I should give this back to her. You're off to find that girl, are you? Chris already told me all about it. She's worried about her too. I'm not here to stand in your way. What you do from here is up to you. But I'm reminded of a man that used to live here who missed his chance to save the life of another. Haunted him every day of his life, but that's a story for another day. This equipment used to belong to him. It's not seeing any use sitting around, so why don't you take it with you? Magic Swordsman Ring. Equipping accessories provide strengthening effects. You can equip accessories. Okay. You want to get there quick. Head north when you leave the village. That'll get you there in no time. All right, we finished chapter one. Um, let's equip physical and magical attack up. Okay. I'll take that. So I guess there's nothing left to do but go to the to the canyon, right? We watered all of our plants. We should be good. I can't even though he just told us. Okay, yeah, it's up here. Hagen Canyon. Hagen. Hagen. Ooh, look at that. That one looks spooky. Alright, nothing in this starting area. An armored figure is kneeling on the ground. That dang geist. Think he is willing to go to such lengths in this madness. Can't let him continue with his plan, but I'm not going to get far with my armor in this condition. I mean, we got to help him. Huh? What do you want? 
Offering to help? You do know what I am, right? You're still willing to assist me? Suit yourself. You can see my armor has been damaged. It appears a piece of it sent flying off somewhere. I think I saw it land somewhere in that direction. Would you mind taking a look for me? Uh, so this direction? Oh, it's just right there. Get the treasure chest first. Odd black component. Ah, so you found it after all. Thank you. For a moment there, I thought I was standing at death's door. Perhaps kneeling would be more apt. Language still baffles me, what with its idioms and nonsense. Nonetheless, I appreciate your help. I will be sure to repay you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you heading towards the sea's light? In fact, we are. The one you're looking for, she must be that Abel girl who passed by here earlier. <clears throat> the name Abel confuses you? Perhaps it's best to use the term human around you instead. Wasn't it able to get a good look at her as she went by? My suit was in a state of disrepair after all. Silhouette was definitely that of a human girl. She looked to be in something of a panic. So you're following that girl towards the sea's light. In that case, why don't we go together? No, you humans look down upon my kind. We who you call the omens. The environment up ahead has grown strange and I'm injured. It'd be difficult to proceed alone. Still, you must have some reservations about joining an omen on your journey. I mean, I don't know what they are, so... That's so, you certainly are an oddity. Moving on, it is in our best interest to cooperate. We will travel together until we reach the autumn sea's light. Suppose now is usually a time where you humans exchange names. The name is Dianthus. I've dedicated it to memory. All right, we got our part. We got a party member. Party members attack autonomously. If a party member's health reaches zero, they will temporarily fall, out, but they will automatically come back to battle. Okay. Don't really have to worry about them. Hostile creatures prowl the area up ahead. Prepare yourself for b before battle. All right. The monsters look unsettled. Could it be the effects of the sea's light? Press R, close in on it, make it easier to land to change which one you're targeting. Let the battle commence. Oh, yeah, that does make it a little bit easier. No, I didn't mean to eat the sandwich. Let Dang it. That was, a, that was a perfectly good sandwich that I wasted. I meant to do the fire attack. Alright, of course we gotta we gotta see what kind of uh, local fish we can catch. Golden Egg Salmon, 86. Oh, my backpack's full. Are you kidding? No, don't eat this. Oh, gosh. I wish you could adjust the key binds because I just keep eating. I ate all three sandwiches today, which really pisses me off.
See a beautiful majestic waterfall. Mist spraying around it feels cool and refreshing. I guess take a break? Take a rest in the mist by the waterfall. Health and stamina have been... Oh, okay. Well, had I not used um, all 100 of my sandwiches, that would have been really useful. Guess that's got to be repaired. Let the battle commence. Okay, so you can attack in an arc and kind of hit multiple people, which is good. Uh, my backpack. Like, really? Already? Um... Jeez. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to... Can I not? Okay, yeah, now I can... Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, so I can discard. Um... Jeez, I don't really want to throw away every, anything. Um, guess I'll throw these freaking berries away. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't realize they were just going to fall on the ground right there. Uh, oh yeah, this way. Broken ladder might be usable if it's repaired. What are you looking at over there? A ladder? I say if we repair it, this may serve as a shortcut. I've analyzed this condition and believe it should not take much time to repair nor any special equipment. All right. Fixing a ladder takes time. Oh, okay. I guess that doesn't matter at this point anyway. It didn't even take any uh, materials. Mushroom growing by the side of the road. It's big and red and a pleasant smell wafts over it. Eat the mushroom. Yeah. No good can come from just eating a random mushroom. I mean, depending on who you ask. Well, I I definitely need to get um, get improved bag space ASAP. Because not being able to pick pick up this stuff is really bothering me. Shoot. End of battle. All clear. But I can pick up stuff I already have. I didn't. I forgot about that. Found a Canelo doll. Canelo. Whatever that means. Ugh. Wish I could pick this crap up. See something shiny inside the bushes might be something useful. I guess. Backpack is full. Item was sent. Shoot. 
Okay, so why isn't all this stuff I'm picking up going to storage? I wonder if I can send this stuff to storage. Move? No. Well, that's unfortunate. Freaking inventory's gonna be full again right here. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna get rid of this freaking fish. And the freaking mushrooms. Oh, I didn't even have to. All right, I wanna I wanna round them up. Get my skill off cooldown. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Guess we'll do another one of these. Oh, that's me. Uh, yeah, I need to get a strength vegetable juice. For some reason, I was looking at that bottom uh, health bar, and I was thinking that it was um, my buddies, even though it clearly their names are next to them. Feel something unusual up ahead. Um, now or never, I guess. That structure. What is it doing in such a place? Perhaps, no, it defies reason. What's wrong with that building? It should not exist in this space. There's little use in trying to explain why to a human. What is this? Demise deceived me? Princess, I'm on my way. What is the meaning of this? Neither of you are my princess. Nay, you are not but tricksters. Beg your pardon. Mind your words, you obstreperous imp. You puny mortal eyes unable to see the magnolosiousness that my that is my celestial vessel? Why can't I talk? Are you likening me to a mere farmhand or was that a vain attempt at humor? Both of you are most unbecoming, you know. Oh to mistake my pure princess with such savages might be the gravest mistake of my life. If such a faux pas were to reach the palace walls, do keep this a secret from the royal family, won't you? What a peculiar creature. Didn't even know such beings could even exist. Ah, so the omen concedes there are still things in this world beyond their realm of understanding. Such abhorrently arrogant creatures. You would do well to learn from me. Prime example of unparalleled humility. Of course, you're searching for the girl. Let us head deeper into the ravine. Wait just a moment. My ears to see me now, or did you say you were searching for a girl? Mayhap, I w it was you scoundrels who swept my princess away. Yeah, I think you got it all wrong. It's no use playing dumb. My keen eyes have long seen through your nefarious little scheme. Now that I think on it, I have never before heard of a human and an omen joining forces. How very suspicious. Yes, quite dubious indeed. You will tell me where you have hidden my princess. Refuse and I will unleash the full force of my illimitable power. Witness me, you vociferous trolls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Oh, how did I miss that? Actually trying to evade a little bit since um, my health got pretty low there for a second. They're about done anyway. We defeated a unicorn. I don't think uh, PETA is going to appreciate that. Hmm, I must say I'm impressed. You forced my hand. I have no choice but to unleash my most dreadful final ability, Salubrious Spear. Witness me. Horn creature fully, fully replenishes its health. Well, that's not good. Now it's as though you laid nary a scratch. Terrifying, no? Utterly stupefying. You're welcome to tremble in my presence. Now for a rematch, and this time you will tell me where my princess is being kept. Fail to do so, and I will heal my wounds again and again, as many times as are required. Yes, give us a moment to say our piece. We honestly have no idea who your princess is, peculiar creature. I'm Unicorn of Cryptids, you audacious cretin. Cretin? Very well, Unicorn, was it? Please listen to what we have to say. Ayn, would you do the honors? What am I supposed to say? Hmm. I'm certain this area and my princess are not one in the same. Their names are different for a start. Please forgive my haste. Although, it is quite some coincidence that we should both be searching for someone. Would you like to come with us? If you wish to bring them with us, then by all means. Oh, you wish to join me in my search? I've only just arrived at this ravine myself, so I'm not well acquainted with the terrain. Yes, I see no harm until I find my princess at least. But I will not fight by your side, and promise, promised only ever to use my healing magic for the princess. No problem with that. I'm not completely sure I trust it anyway. I've wasted enough time. Let's move on. Well, now we, we got a we got a unicorn. The party just grows, and um, I think. That is going to do it for this episode. And full disclosure, this may actually be the last episode. I know this was a pretty short Let's Play series, but uh, truthfully, it was always meant as kind of like an extended uh, preview of the game itself. Um, and simply because uh, now I got to power through and, and review it and all that good stuff. And of course, we here at Switch RPG pride ourselves on actually beating or even playing games as uh, a lot of outlets uh, don't do, uh, just simply put. Um, so our thoroughness, um, we again, we, we pride ourselves on that. So anyway, I'm going to gonna start playing through this now. Now, uh, that said, keep an eye out on the channel because we may... Um, may do some live streams of this uh, at some point and regardless uh, we have more content always on the way whether you're looking on our website switchrpg.com or you're just checking out the YouTube channel here Geo does a fantastic job uh, always has and probably always will and uh, you know just be looking out for some more stuff here very soon so I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like consider subscribing we'll be back with more soon Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.